Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn about the container field. The container field is a specific type of field that allows you to store a file uh, or a reference to a file right inside your database. It can be super handy for storing things like documents, whether they be Microsoft Word or Excel or even things like Illustrator and Photoshop, or whether you want to uh, store multimedia kinds of files like sound and video. We are going to cover all of that, so let's get started. So to start with, I have uh, five file types uh, here. I have an image, I have a movie, I have a uh, file that happens to be a um, Apple Pages uh, file, which is similar to uh, Microsoft Word, and I chose it uh, specifically to demonstrate that any type of file uh, can go into this container field. It doesn't have to be um, one of the major ones like Microsoft Word or Excel. Uh, we have a PDF document here, a resume, and a sound file. So those represent the five different types of files that we can store in a container field. So there's a couple of ways that we can get a container, uh, excuse me, uh, get uh, a file into a container field, and one of them is simply to drag and drop. So I can drag and drop an image, and there's Celeste. I can also drag and drop a movie, and there's the mp4 uh, file. Now, uh, when I double click this, I can't open it um, or play it, which is kind of inconvenient, so in a bit we'll learn uh, how we can uh, actually uh, play this file. And with something like a file document that is just any file like Microsoft Word or Illustrator or Photoshop, um, it would be you know pretty darn convenient to double click it. Again, it's not possible to double click it when we've dragged and dropped. So I'm going to show you how uh, to go ahead and do that in a bit. So that's the first way is just to drag and drop and super easy, but um, to get the, the data out, it's kind of storing it, right? So to get it out, I would right click and choose export field contents. And then it asks me to save the document, um, you know, wherever it is that I want to save it. And I can do that for any file at all that's in there, export field contents, and it asks me where I would like to save it. So that's sort of very basic uh, functionality. Already, you know, terrifically useful, uh, but you can see we can make it even more useful. So I'm going to give you the other way um, to uh, put a file in a container field, which is to right click uh, and, and choose um, insert file. And this time we're going to choose um, that proposal file uh, that's a pages uh, file. And instead of storing it um, in the field directly, which is what we were doing before, by default, which means that it stores 174 kilobytes of data in the database directly. So your file size grows because you're storing these files directly inside the database. Not great if you have a lot of records. If it's an occasional thing and they're lightweight um, files like a Microsoft Word or a Microsoft uh, Excel, then sure, this could be a terrifically easy and very appropriate way uh, to handle putting uh, files in the container field but it is better to store only a reference to the file. That way it stays um, outside of the database, it stays in the location um, that it is in, but it creates a, a link within the container field uh, so that uh, you can access the document. So whereas before we couldn't double click, now we can double click, and it opened off to the side here, and we can see the document actually open. So straight away we have like wide open the ability to do uh, some document management right from within FileMaker uh, and the databases because we're looking at a contact detail record 
You could be looking at a project record, a job record, um, etc., and uh, you know have multiple documents associated uh, with this record. So the that's the other way to do it and store it as a reference. There's also a um, third option uh, when you're working with FileMaker Server uh, to store it uh, externally. And uh, I won't go into that in this particular video, but to let you know that that is an option as well. So that uh, it's not stored um, in a local file or in a directory on a uh, shared drive, but is actually stored externally on the FileMaker server itself. You may have noticed that when we right click to insert a file, that we have just two options, insert picture and insert file, and insert PDF is grayed out. So if we want to expand the options and possibilities so that we can do things like play a movie right inside the field in FileMaker or listen to sound right inside the field in FileMaker, then we just have to make an, a slight adjustment to the field itself, and we're going to do that now. I'm going to go into Edit Layout and click on the field and go to the Data section of the inspector. If your inspector is not showing, you can click this little eye icon and then go to the icon on the far right, which is the data, and scroll to the bottom where we see Data Formatting and uh, look down to Optimize for. By default, it is selected at Images. But if we look, there's another option, Interactive Content, for things like PDF, MP3, movies, etc. So I'm going to choose that. Uh, in choosing that, I now have the option to start playback automatically. I am not going to do that in uh, today's case. So now that I've made that adjustment, I'm going to exit layout. So now when I right click, I have two new options. I have insert audio video and insert PDF. So we're going to go ahead and choose the insert PDF option. And I'm going to choose store as a reference only and insert. And you'll see now we have interactive uh, possibilities with the PDF. I can zoom out. Uh, I can zoom in, uh, I can, you know, scroll around the document, uh, and I can open it up. Here it is, opened up, and uh, I can, of course, download it to my computer also. So that is the interactive PDF. Next, we're going to uh, right-click in uh, the container and choose Insert Audio Video. And we're going to go ahead and choose that sound file. And then insert. And you'll see that we have a player now instead of the file icon. And we can go ahead and click that play button and uh, go ahead and have a listen. All of the player icons work. We can jump back 30 seconds. We can raise the volume. Well, lower the volume. All right from within FileMaker. There's some terrific uh, applications for the ability to use a sound uh, file inside of FileMaker. Uh, if you record interviews of any kind, if you have podcast episodes that you record, uh, sound effects, uh, if you're in the uh, video film production uh, field, uh, some super possibilities uh, with the ability to insert a sound file directly into a container field. Lastly, we will go ahead and uh, hit the clear button to uh, delete that and right click again and choose insert audio video and we will choose a movie and I bet you won't be too surprised but uh, we have a play button here uh, so we can hit play and see our movie right from within FileMaker we can click the 30 second bit we could jump ahead to a different part of it um, we can adjust the sound we can even go to full screen and back again all from within FileMaker.
So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you would please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.